Welcome to DevOps for Web Developers by Mitesh Soni, a video course by Pact Publishing. I am Adam Stewart, and I will be Mitesh's voice for this course. Mitesh Soni has eight years of experience in managing software for GNU, Linux, and other Unix-like operating systems in production environment. He started working as a professional with DevOps from 2013, and has worked on several live projects related to DevOps. Okay. So let's now talk about DevOps for web developers. This course shows you how to accelerate web development with DevOps. It starts by introducing you to the culture and collaboration that needs to be promoted in order to use DevOps within your organization. You will learn why it is essential to build and deploy modern apps efficiently when embracing the DevOps methodology. You will learn to use GitHub to push code and commit the changes using Git. Moving on, you'll understand the basics of configuration management and the architecture of DevOps. You'll see how to take care of deploying the code into our new shiny servers. Then, we'll explore monitoring and various solutions to the range of problems we might face. Finally, you'll be able to develop, deploy, manage and automate your complete web application on a cloud service. Now, let's look at our course. We'll start from scratch providing insights into DevOps movement, challenges for developers team, challenges for operations team, challenges faced by organizations, waterfall and agile model, importance of collaboration, cloud computing, reasons to go for DevOps, benefits of DevOps, DevOps lifecycle, build automation, continuous integration and its best practices, configuration management, Continuous delivery and continuous deployment and its best practices, continuous monitoring, and continuous feedback. It also covers an overview of code repositories, Maven, Jenkins 2.0, Chef, AWS, Microsoft Azure, Docker, Nagios, Hygia, DevOps Dashboard, overview of sample Java EE application. The next section describes in detail how Jenkins plays an important role in continuous integration. It covers how to prepare a runtime environment for application lifecycle management and configure it with Jenkins. It manages all the aspects of running a build to create a distribution file or web application archive war file for deployment by integrating with a source code repository, such as SVN or Git, for a sample Java EE application. You will learn how to install and configure Jenkins, and you'll be able to get end-to-end -end experience in build job creation and configuration, static code analysis, notifications, Jenkins plugins, and so on, as well as details on what exactly the sample application is all about. Later, we will describe in detail how to create the pipelines of different jobs for a sample Java Enterprise Edition, Java EE application. It will also cover the deployment of an application to a local web or application server and the configuration of a build pipeline for the life cycle of continuous integration. This way, Jenkins users can model application delivery pipelines as the code. Once we make it into code, we can store in a code repository and it can be managed in a better way. An important benefit is collaboration, as it can be stored in version control different teams can reuse it for different operations based on the environment. After that, we will describe in detail the configuration management tool Chef, the installation of its components and alternatives, and the configuration of components and convergence of a node for preparing a runtime environment for Java EE application using cookbooks. However, writing a cookbook and a detailed discussion of Chef components is out of the scope of this section as it will take up too much space. Now we will move on to describe container technology in detail and how it is different from virtual machines by comparing the benefits of both. It will give you an overview of Docker and its installation and configuration details. It will also cover how to create CentOS containers for application deployment. We will also cover Docker Hub and the basic architecture of Docker. We will see how to use the Tomcat image available on Docker Hub and create a sample image with a Java and Tomcat installation and a Docker file. Now we will describe in detail how to install Knife plugins used to manage cloud resources using Chef. 
It will cover creating instances in AWS and Azure using the Knife EC2 and Knife Azure plugins. It will also cover how Chef is used to manage Docker containers. The next section will cover prerequisites to deploy application on remote server. Use Tomcat Manager app, deploying application in Tomcat Docker containers, deploying application in AWS Elastic Beanstalk, and deploying application in Microsoft Azure web apps. In the further section, we will provide overview of monitoring, Nagios monitoring tool and quick start on it, installation of Nagios, configuring monitoring of AWS EC2 instance, AWS Elastic Beanstalk monitoring, Microsoft Azure web app service monitoring, Microsoft Azure application insights, and monitoring web application and Tomcat server with new relic. Finally, we will describe in detail how to orchestrate different build jobs for continuous integration, configuration management, continuous delivery, and so on. It will cover how the build pipeline plugin and pipeline feature of Jenkins 2.0 can be used to orchestrate an end-to-end -end automation process for application deployment. This video is a step-by-step -step practical tutorial that shows you how to harness the DevOps methodology and DevOps tools in a practical way to efficiently manage and automate the development and deployment of a web application onto a cloud service. This course is for web developers and IT teams who are new to the DevOps methodology and want to use DevOps tools to harness its full potential. It is also ideal for those who would like to learn about DevOps orientated workflows and how they can be applied to the development of web applications. Some prior exposure to the software delivery lifecycle would be helpful. So, what are we waiting for? Let's begin this journey together, and I hope you enjoy the ride.